Hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're up in the mountains today. This is the village of Rhodes, which is just down the road from Kathikas, which is of course up in the hills above Aya. Although you can cut across country and go through Stromby, join the main Polis to Paphos Road. And of course, take a left if you want to go to Polis, or take a right if you want to go towards Paphos. So, if you want to learn your way in and around Paphos, this could be that little channel, especially for you. Mr. Paul driving around, and of course it is Marika and me. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our travels, our jaunts in and around Patfoss. And of course, in particular, we will normally be strutting our stuff up and down the Cater Patfoss Promenade and harbour area but Mr Paul driving around in a car well he can pop up absolutely anywhere so this is the old village centre of a roads it's called Pano a roads by the way and there's a big church on the left hand side there's a museum there's a coffee shop and there's one or two little tavernas in and around and of course if you want a beer well it's got it written up there above the door of that place and according to that sign Paphos is 29 kilometers. In English money, that's around about what? 20 miles or thereabouts. About 19.2 miles, I think it probably works out. The brain is calculating it now. There's a recycling point for some aluminium cans, and of course, there's lots of stone buildings up in the mountains. That's something that's very, very nice indeed. So, if you are coming on a big bird or a canoe and you're padding like crazy into Paphos, why not go and rent a hire car? and come up into the hills and, well, see life in a very, very leisurely place indeed. Place, not place, pace, yes. You might think life is quite slow in the downtown Kedipapos Promenade and Harbour area. You wait till you come up to the villages, then you'll understand that time has no meaning whatsoever. And to be honest, it's not a bad way to live at all. This is the main road from Kathikas, which takes you down towards Polis. And this is the old Wiggly Waggly Road, shall we say, from the Paya area. So Paya Coral Bay, if you wanted to go to Polis, you would be on this road. We're now heading back towards Cathicus. Just before the main village entrance of Cathicus, we will take a left and sort of circumnavigate it. We will go through Cathicus, but not actually through the village central, if you understand me. Now, it's quite early in the morning, so it's slightly dull, I'm going to say. Maybe you think it's quite bright. Perhaps if your name's Lady Whitney and there's a man in life called Sir Jason. Yeah, it is quite bright because the sky is looking blue. The sea, yeah, that's pretty blue too. Mr. Paul, guess what? He's dressed head to toe with blue. So that must mean one thing. All that is missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe. Start paddling like crazy. Powerful Cyprus, Marika and me. Oh yeah, we're waiting, especially for you. So this is the like plateau, flatted out area in downtown Cathicus. Lots of bungalows and villas scattered around in the countryside. And of course, this is what they call agricultural land. So if you do want to build a villa around here, you have to buy a piece of agricultural land. And then in most cases, you're allowed to build up to a maximum of 10% of the size of that land but up to 240 square meters. So, if you bought a piece of land of say 2,400 square meters, therefore, you'll be able to build the biggest house possible, which is 200 square meters, which is quite a big house. Four bedroom, five bedroom house. So that's why you see quite a few rather stylish looking villas and bungalows and things in this area. Anyway, here we go. We're just gonna take a left and circumnavigate Catholicus village. If you'd gone straight there, you'd have kept on going and going and then eventually dropped down into Paya. Now, big shout out to some superstars who've moved to Paya for the rest of their lives. If your name is Lady Emma and there's a man in your life, he's your superstar. Of course, that's our Lord Rob. And then there's a couple of little who are not that little anymore. But, by Count Bradley and of course, Princess Maya, a very, very Calibera to you. What are you up to today, I wonder? Probably sitting on a beach somewhere, or perhaps taking that gangster dog named Harry for a walk because he doesn't seem too impressed with that banner that's been put up by your swimming pool. I don't think he's a Spurs fan, I think he could be 
or Arsenal or Chelsea or something like that. Anyway, let's not get involved in a fight. Not yet, anyway. So, this is downtown Catholicus. There's a sign there telling us we can go back through the village centre towards Payer. This is the farmyard restaurant on the left-hand side. Very popular venue in downtown Catholicus. And Catholicus has got pretty much more tavernas than any other village that I can think of. I think... The actual number is nine in total in and around the actual area of Cathicus. That's the main square, if you take a right there. And during the summer season, these restaurants literally are packed to the rafters because, of course, all of the residents of these villas and bungalows are in town, shall we say, lots of them being foreigners, of course. And, of course, the restaurants then understand that, uh, particularly on a Friday and a Saturday and a Sunday, they're going to be very, very busy indeed because people like to go out to eat. And of course, lots of the villas around here are rented out to people like you and me. And of course, we like to go out to eat as well. So, if you go to a restaurant in downtown Cathicus, you're going to do quite well. Now, we're on the trek down towards Stromby. This is what I meant by the fact that we're going to cut across town. So, this road transverses over a bit of a mountainside. We're going to get a great, great view in a moment. We're going to drop down to the main Hollis to Patfoss Road, or Patfoss to Hollis Road, depending on which way that you are going, because we're heading towards Patfoss. If there's somewhere that you'd like me to go, by the way, drop in the comments, and you never know, that video may come, especially for you. If you want to motivate me to do it, it's very, very simple to do. All you've got to do is hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, and that's how you gift us a virtual coffee or two, or three, or four, or five, Depends on what you want us to do. Call your cat in. Well, we'll do that for free. Birthday shout outs, anniversary shout outs. We thank you very, very much indeed. You can also join us as a superstar member, starting off at only 10 euros a month. I'd like to say a big, big thank you to some of those guys. If your name is Duke Phil, there's a girl in your life called Lady Sharon, although she's a Duchess now. They're coming to Papos very, very soon indeed. And we're looking forward to seeing you for the first time. We know you've been coming to Patfoss for a while, but it's the first time that we will get to meet you. And we're looking forward to that. And of course, May is going to be a very, very busy month indeed. The girl in charge of the show, Dayman, she's coming to town. Lady Maggie's coming to town. i got a sneaky feeling that Lady, oh, oh is so, so sweet, Caroline, she's going to come to town. Lady Ness, she's coming to town. The list goes on and on and on and on. If you're looking for us, come and hunt us down on the downtown Cater Patfoss promenade or in the harbour area. If you miss us, we're easy to find. I'm the idiot with a blue hat and a pair of dark sunglasses, but I've also got a blonde beauty standing right by my side, and you'll find us in the Pelican restaurant in the centre of the harbour area. Of course, as the summer season progresses, we will be there later and later until eventually they chuck us out. If you see us, grab a seat, come and sit down, let's chew the fat and let's have a coffee or two. Look at that for a view. I promised you the spectacality of a view indeed. Yes, Sir Jim. Cuddle up to Lady Amanda. Give her a kiss. Give her a cuddle. You'll be getting on a big bird or a canoe. I'm paddling like crazy very, very soon indeed. Pap or Cyprus. Oh yeah, we're all waiting, especially for you. But what a beautiful view that is. You can see that little bit of haze, you see, which will burn off in the next half an hour or so. If you're curious to know what time it is, it's now 10 past nine in the morning. So in this area, there used to be rivers in olden times. So first thing in the morning, it's, it's like mist, translucent mist. Of course, as the temperature ramps up, if you're curious to know what that is, by the way, let me just check, what's it say on the old uh, car here? 19 degrees, there you go. 10 past nine in the morning, 19 degrees outside, and we're only in the first week of April, so not too bad. If your name's Miss Susan, don't worry. When you come to Papos in a few weeks, you'll be taken home with you. A spectacality of a suntan indeed. And of course, if your name is Sir Mark of the Peacock Clan, he's coming with his mum, he's bringing his wife, and he's bringing his two daughters. Yes, indeed. They're going to get a spectacality of a holiday as well. As I was saying, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for our madness, in particular mine as I drive around and have a chat with you guys. And of course, don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. 
as a gesture of goodwill, as a thank you to motivators to keep on making these videos, especially for you. If you're curious to know what that is, on the right hand side, they are putting in a new road. They are from Paphos to Polis. They're putting in a dual carriageway. It's going to take them a few years, there's no doubt about that. But once it's done, of course, be a vast improvement and cut down the drive time between Polis and Paphos. Final shout out to two guys that like to tune in now and again. One of them likes to get his Cypress fix, and uh, his name is Sir Daniel Mahoney. Big, big shout out to you, and a big, big Cali Mera. And we'll be looking to forward to seeing you and Lady Sherry in a couple of months. And a gentleman who sits by his computer screens, hoping that the boss doesn't interrupt him as he turns everything off so that he can watch Mr. Paul drive around and talk an absolute load of rubbish. He's the man with two Yarises. The flights are booked. He's coming back to Patfoss very, very soon indeed. A very, very big Calimera to my friend, Sir Brian. Looking forward to seeing you in the neon van. Neon van? Neon Mal. Very, very soon indeed. I'll be watching out for a silver Yaris. Thanks for watching. And of course, I'll see you again very, very soon indeed. This is strongly, by the way. Don't forget to come back for the next little episode.